Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Sage. What is up? Today's going to be a strategy video. It's going to be basically part two of the video I made a couple of days ago or last week where I talked about stone skin and flame guard. One of the things I want to clear up is in that last video, a lot of people got the impression I was dissing uh, stone skin and comparing it to flame guard. I was dissing stone skin. I wasn't dissing stone skin. I have stone skin on almost all my heroes. I don't have any flame guard on my heroes. So when I get the question, which talent is better on Walla Walla? Okay, there is no comparison. If you're looking for damage reduction, you will have to go with Stone Skin. It reduces damage by 60%. Now that fact is a true fact. It can't be denied. But you got to have your Stone Skin at level 4, 5, 6, 7. That's when it starts to outpace uh, Tenacity and uh, Flame Guard. When you get it up, when you get it leveled up at 8 of 8, there's no comparison. You're reducing damage by 60% um, compared to the other ones where that don't reduce damage by nearly that much. But some of these heroes already have damage reduction in their skill. So when they proc, they get damage reduction from their proc. And since damage reduction from stone skin is already being applied because it applies underneath or before you proc then when you proc you're going to get additional damage reduction from that proc if you want to figure out how much total reduction you're getting from the two stacking together then you have to use percentage math and that is a lot of steps it's not hard it's just a lot of steps especially if you're doing it in your head so what I want to do from the help of my other personality is calculate the increase that Stone Skin Crest is going to give to this Dread Drake when he procs. When he procs, he's uh, negating damage by 90% as it reads in this description. And if you add Stone Skin Crest, it's going to be another 25%. So I'm going to ask for the help from my other personality, Sage, the Psycho smoking cigar trying to kill himself person oh yeah yeah i can help you hey <laughs> that's the one you said 77 percent on huh what were you thinking man okay yeah let's do this right let's do this right so you got a uh, 90 percent damage reduction from dread drake and you want to you want to see if you can stack on another 25 percent damage reduction from that stone skin crest so let's do uh one minus point ninety that equals 0.1, right, 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 right? So let's remember that, and then we're gonna do, we're gonna erase that, we're gonna do one minus point, uh, what was that, what you say, 25%, 25, 25 equals 0.75. All right, so now let's uh, multiply that 0.75 by that 0.1 that we had. That's 0.75, let's convert that to a, uh, a percentage, so we're gonna move this space up by two. So let's just erase that. We're gonna have 7.5. So that's gonna tell me right there, the 7.5 increase from that 90%. That's what that uh, stone skin crest is giving you. So now let's see what the total increase will be with the stone skin crest. So we're gonna, what we, this is what we're gonna do. Let me see this. So we're gonna do 100 minus seven. Oops, wait, wait, wait. I didn't mess up, I just messed up this thing. 100 minus 7.5. Equals 92.5. That's the answer. 92.5, not 77%. 92.5%. That's the total percentage. There you go. Thank me later. Let me get back to drive. 92.5. So you're only going to get an increase of 2.5%, even though you have five crest stone skin that gives you 25% extra. And that's because the closer you get to 100% when you're stacking uh, percentages especially if you're stacking negative numbers the closer you get to 100 percent the smaller the increase in percentage you're going to get now with flame guard crest we're going to get 20 percent uh, damage reduction which is only five percent less than a uh, stone skin crest at this level so there's not much difference but let's calculate it anyway let's just figure this out all this math is kind of do while i'm driving man and that was uh, a lot of steps, that last problem. We know the answer now is 92.5%, right? So I was thinking, I was thinking, I was thinking. 
Okay, so if Stone Skin gives you 25% damage reduction, Flame Guard gives you 5% damage deduction. And you said Flame Guard is calculated different. Remember you're talking about umbrellas and uh, you, what did you say, shields or roofs over your head or whatever in the last video. So if it's calculated different, then, like, then we already know the we already know the answer for Stone Skin. Why don't we just shave off 5% so that we get the answer for Flame Guard? Why do we got to do all these steps? So that means that if Stone Skin is 92.5% increase, then Flame Guard is going to be 92% increase, right? Just add 5% or, or whatever. And then you get what Stone Skin is. We know the value. It's kind of like if you know the brightness of a star, a closer star, then you can calculate how far away a distant star is. Because if you know, that's how math works, right? Right? Help me with this, because I, this is hard to do this math while I'm driving. You can cheat a little bit. You can skip some steps, like some of the very smart people who watch uh, my videos, who comment on my page. They could probably skip some steps. But just to be safe, just to be safe, let's do it the old-fashioned way with all the steps. And we're going to calculate the difference in percentages from these two talents. Yeah, I get it. I get it, man. Those dudes the was trying to clown you when you tried to do shortcuts before. I did have to pull over, though. This is getting kind of intensive with all these steps. I am going to eliminate one of these steps. I'm going to use this percentage button because usually you got to use a percentage calculator to do this type of math. But uh, So we're going to eliminate one of the steps. So let's do 1 minus 90%, and that equals 0.1. We're going to remember that, and then we're going to do 1 minus 20%. That equals 0.8. Now let's multiply 0.8 by 0 0.1, 8%. Just like I said. So we're going to make that a, a whole number. We're going to carry that up to the up two spaces. So now we got 100 minus 8, and that equals 92. So like I said, it's 92% for Flame Guard and 92.5 for stone skin basically there's almost no advantage to putting flame guard or stone skin on your dread drake because he's already reducing 90 percent damage the two percent is not going to make a big deal it's not even negligible so it's not worth it putting these crests on this hero not in my opinion Maybe you see things different. Maybe you play a different game to me. That's fine. But in my opinion, I wouldn't do it because it's not really making that much of a difference that's going to be uh, affecting my hero in a positive way. I'm going to end this video right here only because it's like 8 o'clock. I need to eat. I don't have time to keep recording this. And I need to go to bed. I got to eat before 9 o'clock because I'm on this diet. Uh, so you know what I want you guys that's watching this because I'm going to continue this tomorrow I want to start I want to stack up uh, the damage reduction with an 8 of 8 stone skin so pick a hero I want you guys who are watching this pick a hero in here who has damage reduction in their proc that uh, we can calculate it with 8 of 8 stone skin and then we'll try to uh, expand on what we just talked about with 8 of 8 stone skin, 8 of 8 flame guard, and um, also the crest for, let's say, 8 of 8 stone skin with 5 of 5 flame guard crest. Something like that. We're going to mix it up. But let me know in the comments, and this is going to be like interactive, and we're going to finish this up tomorrow so I can just eat and go to bed, and I'll just publish this right now as is. Um, I will be back tomorrow. Even if you guys don't comment, I'm still going to do this, continue this tomorrow so I can finish it up. So, see you guys tomorrow. I'm out. Peace.